car and I am heading down to the Wild Fox sample sale. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I still feel a little bit ugh. Um, but I really want to go because I've missed like the last five of them and over the course of the last few months I've actually kind of ruined a couple of my wild fox jumpers not ruined like to wear if like um, Well, hey, I'm absolutely freezing or like pajamas or like just an extra sweater But ruined in terms of like I wouldn't I don't know the the uh, Might like we accidentally put them in the dryer and so the decals are kind of starting to come off and they're just kind of not as um they were when I got them. So I'm excited to go to the sample sale. Things are often like 60% off at the sample sale. So that'll be really fun. Um, drinking a tea on my way there. Dude, it legit feels like winter right now in LA. It's crazy. Like I walked inside my house this morning. I was like, what? It's like seriously winter. Well, for us, it feels like serious winter. Like, I don't know, you know, in your state, you have like your summer, your winter, your spring. You're like, it's beginning to feel like that. It's like feeling like winter now. So um, my camera's really shaky. Sorry, but I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, it's feeling like winter. I feel like there was something, I don't know. I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, I did notice on our questionnaire video, there was some like talk. I didn't see a lot of the comments. Um, because to be honest, I was looking in my bed this morning really quick on my phone before I got in the car to leave. But I saw some comments on like our religion and I didn't see the comments people were replying to, but I guess lots of people were replying to someone who was probably saying something along the lines of like, you know, I really like you, but don't be so preachy or whatever. Um, like I said, I didn't see them, so I don't know what they said, but I saw a lot of the replies to them. But I just have to tell you guys, like, here's the thing. Dan and I are like not trying to be preachy. We just, religion, like it's not a separate thing for us. Like that's, uh, it almost feels weird to call it religion. Like we just, our relationship with God is just such, that's our, that's our life. That's such a huge part of our life. It is in every part of our life and all the decisions that we make. Um, you know, so that's something that unfortunately, I'm sorry, but if that's something that you don't, a part that you don't like about us, that's not a part, then, then I think we're not your cup of tea and I feel really bad, but you know, for saying that to whoever's not loving that, um, but I just have to let you guys know. And it's so weird because we're people, we're not a TV show. So for someone, you know, to comment that, it feels very like Truman Show-esque. It's like, you know, I love you, but I don't love that part. I'm like, wait, that part, that's me. <laughs> I'm like, that's who I am. So um, I'm sorry if you don't like that, but that's who we are and that's not really gonna go anywhere. So um, yeah, anyways, I am driving through, where am I right now? Burbank area, Hollywood now. It's kind of like, it's, it's a nicer part of LA. I'm driving into downtown to go to this place. I guess it's called the Cooper Design Space. So that's where the Wild Fox sample sale is. And um, Allison is going, Ingrid is going. I'm pretty sure Kat, Catrific, she's going. Um, I don't know if Rachel's going or not. Um, she wasn't feeling the hottest either, and so I told her I would just let her know in the morning. And I texted her, but I haven't heard back, so I think she might still be um, sleeping. So yeah, so you'll see the girls there. Unless I I beat them there, they might have accidentally slept in too because I texted Allison and Ingrid, and I haven't heard anything back. So I might text Cat now and see if she's on her way. Okay, so I'm at the madness of the Wild Fox sample sale. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect this kind of craziness. Have you ever been to one of these? No, it's so crazy. This is this, crazy. This whole place is like a little mini, like, mall almost. <laughs> there, are other, there are other sample sales going on in this movie right now. I, I saw them on the way up, I almost got distracted. I was like, no, go! And I'm glad I did, because their monthly sample sales are way smaller than this. Look at these lines. Yeah, It's all the way crazy. Okay, so you're getting the black hearts, right? Yes. That's really, really cute, by the way. BT dub. And then I'm trying this one on. I don't know if I like it because I don't have a mirror, but they say that it's really cute. I know, so. you kind of just have to like trust your friend's <laughs> opinions because it's like you can't see what you're like. I'm like, <laughs> yes it does. I trust you. And then I think I'm gonna try on, Ingrid handed me the black one. I think I'm gonna try on the black one too. Here, and I'll hold your camera so then they can see what you look like. Friend, Doesn't great. it look cute though? I think that looks so cute on you. <laughs> You'll be and ready for Valentine's Day. Yay! And it matches my pink camera, which no one can ever see because I'm filming. But isn't it cute? <laughs> yeah. It's pink and it's cute. I know. Mine's just black. Oh, boo. <laughs> it's okay. I like it. Whenever Kat 
comes back, I'll show her, and I think Allison's on her way too, but Kat is off being a pro sample sale shopper. I know, seriously. She's <laughs> and, like a pro at this. She is, and I'm over here like stripping. I didn't wear a tank top, so I'm just ripping off my clothes and trying on new shirts. So I'm gonna try on more, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Old cat, Haro. You look so cute. Thank you. Do you like this? I like it. I know you were saying you aren't a fan of the V-neck, but I think it's super cute. I'm gonna run and see if I can find an extra. I was trying to find. Okay, it, have fun. Yeah. It's really cute. Thanks it's for telling us about the sale, Cat. Yeah, no problem. I saw it on tweet and I like immediately like screenshot it and sent to Ingrid. I'm like, biggest box <laughs> sale ever of the oh year. Gosh. Yeah, this is huge. So. Oh, I'm burping. I'm gonna try on more sweaters, and I guess we'll see you in that massive line when we check out. Uh, this is not gonna be fun checking out, but that's okay. Oh, is that Ingrid's sweater? Oh, okay. Sorry. Like this is crazy. It's like, it's like grab and run. Okay, so Ingrid and I are checking out, and Kat and Allison are still off looking. Are you excited with your purchases? Yeah, I, I got everything that I wanted. I can't believe like some of the stuff that was here. I'm just like, no, I know. At the end, we're like in line, and I see someone with the pink lipstick jumper that Ingrid has, and it yeah. was her first Wild Fox jumper. And when she bought it, I was like, oh my gosh, I want that jumper. And I couldn't find it anywhere online, so it was really weird that they had it here. And it's old because you can tell the tag. Yeah, yeah. The old Wild Fox tag. I know. So, so I'm excited. If yeah. that design has been around. Yeah. But it's so awesome. I love that one. I know. It's so cute. It's funny too because that hard sweater, we like all got the hard yeah. sweater. Are you? Like, so many people are trying it on too. I am trying on the hard sweaters. Cat finally got her cat jumper. Loves cat. Yeah. You lucked out because people are literally walking up to cat like, and they're like, "Where'd you get that?" Are you so excited? Yeah, like the lady was trying it on and she had two. Uh -huh. And I was like, are you gonna keep both of those? She's like, I'm getting one for my sister. And I was like, can I please have the other one? And she's like, yeah, if I decide not to get it, you're first in line. And I was like, and I sat there and waited and I watched her try it on. And I was like, please. Do you want that? And so she's like, okay, you can have it. <laughs> That's like the lipstick one. I was literally one. begging her for it. Yeah, I followed the girl and I was like, um, where'd you find those? And she was like, over here. And I was like, oh, okay, and was just really nice and kept my distance. But she came over, she was like, do you want this one? It's not going to fit me. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll take it. Thank you, nice wild fox shopper. Yeah. So now we're in this massive line. I have to pee so bad. What's new? I already chugged this. And Allison's shopping. So I guess we'll just see you in a little bit. Hi, guys. So Dan and I are now on our way to Mandarin Wall. Hold on. This is the best part of my day. Sauce it up. Ooh. So, um, mm. I guess we'll just see you at the table. And that's that. I'll show you what we got. I am. I don't want to move. <laughs> what is that? Veggie lamb. Um, fried rice, and hot sauce. It's good. I got some I don't usually get, but. It's Mongolian beef and it's covered in onions and some awesome marinade. It's so good. Come here, Ming. There we go. Alright, keep it low, okay? <laughs> yeah. No, just kidding. So how's everything? It looks getting better. Yeah, looks good. Staying busy making videos. Oh wow. So how's it Christmas? Good, we're staying in town with our family. Oh. What how about you? Thank you guys. I don't know. I might call Dan to have fun. <laughs> That's what everybody does. They always call me to have fun. Yeah. Can't go wrong. No? Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. That's the bad. <laughs> oh wow. I have to back to work. Okay. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> My son. My son. No, we can't show him. Go. We can't show him. <laughs> Nikki and I, oh my gosh, well first of all we just finished and I'm slouching in my chair because I'm so full, <laughs> but we're Why laughing like at this picture I posted on Instagram of Baby Bowser, go on my Instagram, it's the You're link, so manipulative. it's the link that you see below, <laughs> not the link, it. just go to my Instagram and look at the picture I posted of little baby Tell Bowser. Your Instagram it's is so cute. Yeah, it's just Dan Dash underscore. That's it. 
Oh, it's not a dash. It's an underscore. Anyways, it's so cute. But when he's fully grown, I'm going to like split screen that picture with his full grown picture and it's gonna Nikki just says I'm too obsessed with my dog and no, I am you. I love my dog anyways Dan's telling me to act <laughs> just as happy as I was two seconds this is, ago this is what she actually did about five seconds ago do it I, I want to replay I can't okay I'll do it oh my gosh she interrupted me oh my gosh Dan hold on we have to go to the mall right now and I'm like why? And she's like, Bath and Body bath and Works. Body works. <laughs> Bed, Bath and Beyond, whatever this is called. The three wick candles are only $8. That's like 65% off. <laughs> I can't help it. That was like very dramatic over candles. Well, but that's because that's more on sale than they were Try after Black Friday. We're gonna go buy some oh, candles. Stop. Stop. <laughs> It's candle time. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll see you at the mall. Wow. Candle, were... <laughs> candle time. Well, I'm buying candles for gifts, too. It's my sister's and my mom likes candles. This do is you, like 30 pounds. Do you know what scent, like, what scents your mom would like? <laughs> mm, she likes everything we like. It was really cute, too, because... Byron called me. Byron like, Lee. okay, you guys met Lisa. She's the person at Big Frame that works on my channel, and she's my manager. Um, she has an assistant, and he called me, and he's so cute because he called me to check up on some Macy stuff, and he was like, "Are you in front of your computer?" And I was like, "I'm actually not for once." And he was like, "Oh, where are you?" I was like, "I'm actually at the mall." And then at the end of the phone call, he was like, "Okay, have fun at the mall, Nikki. Talk to you later." <laughs> and I started laughing, and he started laughing, and then we just hung up. <laughs> It was cute. He was just like, have fun with the mom. <laughs> like, I will, Byron. Thanks. <laughs> Guys, oh my god, it's so cold outside. It is not. Well, it's only, it's okay, it's 52. That's cold for California, but it's not freezing. Right? I'm it's freezing. It's no breeze. It's so still. It's nice. It I'm smells freezing. cold outside. So, we just left the mall. I saved so much money. We spent like yeah. seventy dollars. You, you didn't save. You spent. Yeah. Well, when we were in checkout, some lady she turns around. And she's like, "Would you like a coupon?" Just a random customer. And I was like, "Wow, another, thanks." Another twenty percent off. Of yeah. Sixty percent. Yeah. So I bought all my candles. I saved like to what I would have spent if we hadn't bought on sale, and I just bought all that stuff normally. I saved a hundred and fifty-five dollars. <laughs> Dude, I've literally bought so much crap on discount today. So, um, we got candles for his mom, candles for my mom, candles for my sisters. Hope my sisters are watching this. Wait, did um, you show everybody what you got from Wild Fox yet? No, because that's you. what you, that's what you were just talking about. I'm wearing one of the more, jumpers, but more it's, sales stuff. Yeah, I'm wearing one of them, but I have more at home that I got. That was crazy. That was like seven hundred dollars worth of stuff. When you told Mike five hundred, it was like seven hundred dollars worth of stuff for 150 so I literally got like almost a thousand dollars worth of things today for like two hundred and fifty dollars crazy so anyways um we still have to figure out the rest of the gifts for my family because obviously they're not just getting candles people are gonna get like other stuff like dinner dates and um depends on who we're giving what to so we have to figure all that out but now we're heading home we're gonna take a bath because we also went three means go to a lush and got some romantic time bath stuff. Uh, it's freezing for us, so we. That guy, this guy right here, he turned left in okay. front of everybody. I saw that. What a weirdo. Um, so we got a like a bath bomb, and we got a bubble bath thing because they said if you mix them together, it like bubbles and explodes and makes your bath all moisturized and stuff from lush. But like. I've never gotten the bath stuff from Lush before. Maybe one time a long time ago, years ago. So I was like, today's the perfect day. Like, I don't feel good. It's freezing out. I'll get a bath thing and just lie there like a blob. So um, that's what we're doing. And I got, I also got a mask because I broke oh, out no. a lot on my period. Oh, no. And there's an old lady coming. Oh, no. 
And then I got a lip scrub, Sweet Lips, because my other one I just finished. Um, and then I got a lotion. I haven't bought this in so long, but it's my favorite lotion. It's the only lotion I ever used to get rid of my eczema. It got rid of my eczema when I had it a few years ago. It was the only thing that worked. It's called Dream Cream. Dream Cream. Yep. It's amazing. I haven't got it in forever because I don't really need it because I don't have eczema anymore. Um, what? But need aside, sorry, we were stopping fast. Um, I just really like it. So I haven't got it in a long time. So I thought I would get it. So that's what I got. Uh, my phone's ringing now, so I gotta go. It's my sister and I'll see you soon. Hi, Shayna. What's up? Oh, by the way, will you just tell them that you're not my slave? <laughs> I'm not Nicole's slave. Huh? I'm paid. <laughs> I told them I was like, this is their job. Everyone pretty much got it, but there were a couple people that were like, Nicole is using her as a slave. I was like, this is like a better job. Yeah, I really like my job. Better than I, going at like... I've never actually like went to another job because I like this job so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice because sometimes I get really busy with things, so she's able to help me like with certain things I need help with. So it's not that she's a maid because she helps pick up, but she also helps with other things like emails and organizing. And she's actually, people have been asking about the giveaways. She's been confirming all the giveaway winners and she's sending out prizes today. So she helps me with that kind of stuff. And then she'll help me with this. Dan's gone, so Shane is gonna vlog me showing, <laughs> showing you what I got at Wild Fox today. And I got some gifts and stuff too. So um, yeah, so if you wanna film that. I got lots of candles. Actually, I don't know if I can go through all. Should I go through all of them? Okay. Just go through the ones that you only got like one of. Okay, I got Meet Me in Tahiti. It's white sands and vanilla flower. You smell? Yeah, I do. Do you like it? Oh my gosh. It smells good. Huh? I just, sorry. I just went down because I was smelling it. New York, New York, the big apple. It's like an apple scent. Hmm. It smells good. It actually smells like a real apple. Isn't that weird? Mahogany teakwood or mahogany teakwood. This is the Abercrombie scent. Does that, smell like <laughs> that does. That's funny. Crazy cranberry pear bellini. I love this scent. You have like eight of these. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. It's because it's the perfect dog poop scent. <laughs> Ew. Because it's so fruity and it breaks through the smell of dog poop. So it's great. Um, this next scent is London Calling. This is tea and lemon. You're so getting blur. You're getting blurry. Okay, go. Tea and lemon. This is probably my least favorite of all of them that I bought, but I feel like this is a good bathroom scent. But it's not like a, oh my gosh, I love this scent. Oh, that is a good bathroom scent. But it's like scent. a good, like, oh, the bathroom's clean. You know yeah. what I mean? Okay, and then this one is Sparkling Ice Coals, which is so weird because I bought Sparkling Ice Coals and I was like, dang, this is like my favorite new scent, but this doesn't smell. Oh, you smell it? Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, that's what it is. Someone put the wrong top on. This is a different top. Uh, <laughs> so smell the actual candle. The candle. Ah, oh, dang it. Sorry. I wish I'd realized that. I would have got more. That's the one that's the in their bathroom right now. Yeah. I really like that one. I would have got more, but I thought, oh, maybe that one I got was a fluke. I don't want to buy a ton of these. And, like, maybe that one was wrong. But I think it was just that was a different. The oh. big ones are $8 today. Today. Yeah, they're normally, what, 20 Yes. And then the lady gave me the 20 stop. Paris Daydream. This one is good too. I can't smell it really. Oh, it smells. It's a very light, fresh scent. And then these last two I think are both the same. Caribbean Escape. I really like good. that one. This one is delicious. It's not good. So those are all the scents that I got. Um, I've got these other coupons now. $10 off me. $30 purchase. Save up to 70%, 75% off December 26th, and then $10 off me, $30 purchase, so coupons. Okay, so now what I got from Wild Fox. Okay, so I got this jumper, which is like a knit jumper from their brand, or their line called the White Label, which I guess is their really expensive line. This was like $350 if you walked into Nordstrom today, but I got it for $50, so that's really cute. I got this jumper that was originally like $110 for $30, and I loved it. This is actually a really old one. I was, I, you can't find it online anymore because they don't sell them anymore. So this was $30. I got this t-shirt for $15. It says, let me eat cake. <laughs> mm. It's actually like a cupcake, <laughs> and I love cupcakes. This one is a horseshoe with a horse. 
I was like, I'm not a horse person, Ingrid. Like, I don't ride actual horses. And she was like, I said, but I really like this and it's soft. And she was like, well, then if you like it and it's soft, then just think of it as like, it's a good luck charm, like a horseshoe. Good luck. So she convinced me and it's really soft and it's a pretty color. And then last but not least, it's the same as that. It's just a jumper, but it's a purple jumper with a glittery white star. So I thought those were, oh, oh, oh. And then this one that I'm wearing sleeves like this it's like a it looks like a sports you know what I'm talking about like those sports what are those called oh, oh no puppies your dogs are evil so they're not evil. <laughs> everybody thinks they have the worst dogs ever I don't they're so cute no. but they're just and people say hi them. Bowser Bowsy don't you think that people just don't realize that they're babies still yeah they're like little still huh well you're technically you're like eight months but you're not causing as much havoc as Bowsy and Bowsy's only like four months so say hi. Bowser doesn't know. Thanks, yeah. Shayna. Say hi or bye or whatever. Goodbye. Homies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Say homies again. Hol homies. Oh. All my homies in the hood. <laughs> say hello to my homies. Bye, homies. <laughs> bye. Oh, man. So I did the laundry. I put our bathroom rug in with a red blanket. This used to be white. And now it's pink. Oh well. So the activities Dan and I are engaging in right now are extremely different. Whoa. He's making guacamole. I'm getting a text message at the moment. Ooh. And I am cleaning my tennis are you shoes. Back up there? Is she up there? Bro, here. Come here. What are you doing? <laughs> so he wants me to film him making guacamole because he's so good. So. Well, this was the plan. Oh, and someone asked in the comments to show section, you. Right? Yeah, and then someone was like, "Sure, I said I do the guacamole." So, super easy. Do you think that's how they ask? That's my impression of all girls. What? Please show us. Okay. <laughs> Two avocados. I think this I was one's... just covering the mic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, two avocados. Uh huh. And this one's like. A little brown, so I'm just gonna cut that out. Dang, dude, you're yeah, like brown. <laughs> okay, like on it. I so never cut easy. bad parts off things. Okay, I'm squeezing that avocado in there. Mm -hmm. All right, so once the avocados are in there, this is a sereno pepper. Nikki likes me to gut the pepper because she doesn't like it too spicy. So, throw the pepper in there. Got a ton of uh, coriander for those people in England and Singapore. I don't know where else you call this coriander, but we I think call it's this actually cilantro. A different herb. They just taste the same. I don't know. Or they're, oh, the, they're same the same thing. Okay. Capsicums. A little wedge of red onion. That's not too much, right? No. Okay. This is actually less than I usually use. Okay. Okay. And I put the avocado on first and then all the ingredients on top. Because when I flip it upside down, I hit the blender and it it um, grinds up all the ingredients first and then I shake it down and then the avocado starts spinning around with everything. So, cooking with Danny. One lime. Squeeze that sucker in there. So the lime juice There's obviously is for flavor but it helps get everything to blend together and that nice creamy consistency. It's not too much lime, right? No, I'm not squeezing all of it. Because uh -huh. you don't want to use too much lime because it'll just taste too sour. And anyone who thinks a lime press is pointless, we <laughs> already had a fight about this. A lime <laughs> press squeezes limes better than a lemon press. Yeah. Just saying. All right, pink salt. Pink salt is the good stuff, it's the healthy stuff. So, um, I don't know, a couple pinches worth. The salt really brings out the flavor. <laughs> okay, last ingredient, ground cumin. You're turning into that guy from the like, cooking network. Oh, I need a I need a golden goatee now <laughs> and spiky hair. Okay, this kind of smells like B.O., but it helps the whole guacamole go together. You didn't okay. put too much, right? Nope. Okay, <laughs> trying to do this turbo speed. Magic bullet, okay? So now all the ingredients are, are um, blended. Now I'm gonna shake the avocado down, blend it until it stops, and then shake it down again. And then I'm gonna repeat that process 
until it's all blended. Called. When it sounds like the, the, the motor is really grinding and working, that's when you know you're almost done. And I do this for Nikki almost every night. So. <laughs> Let's stop. Can we call this segment? She loves guacamole and it's really healthy. I'm taking care of my lady. <laughs> sometimes, uh, it didn't happen this time, but sometimes you just need to crack it and let the air come out a little bit. It'll sound like opening a soda can. It'll and kind of fart on you. <laughs> but it'll help all this stuff to settle and blend. Perfect. Okay. Oh. Okay. What are they fighting about over there? <laughs> Here it is. Here's the, the, the moment, moment we've all been waiting for. Well, the moment we'll be waiting to eat it. That's the moment we've really all been waiting for. <laughs> to eat okay. this guacamole. Woo, woo. Party over here so in the it's guacamole. Like, it's super creamy, but it's also thick. If you like it more chunky, just take an extra avocado and cut it up and then stick it in there and just mash it just a little bit so you have a little more chunkiness. chunkiness. I didn't add tomatoes because I hate tomatoes and I think they ruin guacamole. If you like them, add in a little bit after, not in the blending process because that'll be weird. Anyways, try it. Let me know in the comment section. Oh. And... Let me know how it goes. I know you'll like it. Anyways, we're going to say goodnight. Are we? We are ready to take that bath. <gasps> bath time. Bath time. See you tomorrow. Woo!